How you doing YouTube? Silver Joker here. I'm going to share with you guys this quick video. I've been on vacation, me and my wife, uh, down south, um, doing a little visiting family. I uh, ordered a few things while I was gone, and when I came back, they were all here, which is always a good thing to get home and see your silver waiting on you. Anyway, if you guys are interested to see what I got, stick around, I'll share with you. All right, YouTube. So you know, you guys know that I'm collecting the um, 10 ounce Queen's Beast. I'm telling you, Queen's Beast is a very, very, very uh, exciting um, series that the uh, World Mint's putting out. So anyway, I won't go into that. You guys already know what that is. So I got, I'm going to go ahead and, and collect the two ounce as well. I was just going to stick to the 10 ounce bullion version of that uh, coin. But you know what? The two ounces are just as beautiful. And they, you know, I just like that chunky feel of them. Anyway, so, so I went ahead and ordered, um, uh, I went ahead and got caught up on the series. So there's six of them out now, including the latest one, which is the Falcon. So I had to go back and I look and I bought it after release date. And that usually means you're going to pay a little more. So I paid a little more for these, but I figured, you know, I want to get the whole series because I just think some exciting things are going to happen for that series. So anyway, so I got this line. I ordered this from a seller on eBay. Uh, the coin that he showed was a stock picture, one that I'm sure he got from like either AdMax or Provident or whoever's been selling them. So anyway, it was just a stock picture, you know, the one, the computer generated picture. And that should have gave me pause right then, but there's not a whole lot of these out there at a pretty decent price. This one was, and when I got it in, if you can just see right there on his um, right, uh, paw or claw, whatever you want to say, there's a milk spot. I don't know if you can guys can just make it out right there. There's a milk spot. Don't like that. But anyway, other than that, the coin's pretty decent until you turn it over and then you see there's a bunch of milk spots on the coin as well. Okay, so not happy about that, but I will be getting another one of these at some future point just so I can have it for the collection. Maybe I'll just keep this one around just for, you know, some bullion. Uh, value, but anyway, so I bought this one. That's the line, which of course you guys know is the first first release, of the Queen's Beast. And then I got the Dragon. Not sure, but I think the Dragon is the second release. My camera, come on, to focus. There we go. Is the second release. This one's in very good condition. Uh, a lot of light playing on this airtight here, so it's hard to tell. But this is in perfect condition. If I take it out the airtight, you can see that. Looks like there's milk spots on this queen, but I assure you there's not any milk spots there. And just a play of the camera, just the way there's, I guess there's some, some smudges or something on the inside. But anyway, so I got that one. And then of course I got the, uh, the uh, Griffin. That Griffin is just so beautiful, man. There's a lot of detail in that Griffin. And these, these Queen's Beast coins, I mean, they've outdone themselves at the mint. Well, man, I mean, these things are beautiful. They're highly collectible. I mean, as soon as they're released, they almost have a, a premium. Like, as soon as they like 24 hours after they're released, I mean, there's a premium on them. And here's the Black Bull. And the Unicorn. Another really stunningly beautiful coin. I like that back. I like the security features on the back of these latest releases and then of course the last to be released so far is the latest i should say to be released so far is uh falcon of um uh, whatever that is anyway there's the falcon very beautiful coins and so uh, i bought everything else after release so i paid a premium for all of these right here uh, this one right here i bought when it was released so I went ahead and bought five of them. There's all five of them. So I went and bought five of them from a, um, a store on eBay, Bold Precious Metals. I bought five of them and they're not giving me anything for saying their name. I'm just telling you in case you want to check them out. So I got a really good price and I see now that the price that they have these for is $10 more than what I paid for them. So, you know, it's already, I already made a little bit of money on these. So I bought five of those, and I think from now on, when I when the coin is released, like the next uh, coins to be released in the in the uh, Queen's Beast series, I was going to buy five of each. A uh, little pricey to try to buy five of each of these. I may get around to buying just a few more. Actually, I did buy one more. I bought the uh, 
the bowl. There's a story that goes along with that. Uh, so Abmax had these, had a picture of a lion up there for their um, advertisement on eBay. Abmax did. Had the lion, had it at a pretty decent price. So I ordered one. I got this bowl instead. So I went back, looked at it to see what in the world happened. And they said, um, random, random coins they will send you. So it's a random coin. And as you can see, the, the airtight is scratched there. It's kind of cracked. It's, that's the airtight that I bought. So I got plenty of these. I bought like 20 of these in anticipation of the next releases. So I'll have to put this in another airtight. Other than that, it's a beautiful coin. It's in really good shape. But that's what they did. So they had a disclaimer on this and they could send you whatever. So I got another bowl. So I got two of, two of the black bowls. So anyway, so there's that. So I got five of them. And like I said, I'm probably going to get five of all the rest of them. And I think that's probably a good idea. If you're going to invest in them. I mean, have your, your collection and then have some extra in case you want to, um, you know, put some up for sale or auction or however you do it. Okay, so I have the case coming. I ordered the case for these, the uh, Queen's Beast cased, case that comes for the two ounce silver ones. And there's a case for everything. There's a case for the gold one. There's a case for the platinum ones. There's a case for the, the 10 ounce. There's a case for the uh, five ounce. It's just, you know, the Royal Mint has, has just went all in on the Queen's Beast series. I mean, there's so many different Queen, Queen's Beast versions of that coin that there's no way that well i guess if you're rich you can uh you can invest in all all the um all the adaptations i should say of uh this coin but me there's no way i could do it i think the 10 ounce and the two ounce is going to be it for me uh it just gets too expensive after that to try to get all the versions of this coin so okay so there's that and if you stick around i got a little more to share with you you guys know how I am about unique silver things. Okay, so this, I saw this right here. This is a, a one-fifth kilo poured silver bar. Um, it's Russian. Um, and this really is um, a political party or something. I don't know a whole lot about the Russian thing. But what's interesting about this is with it being one-fifth kilo, it is very, very, very rare very unique now, i don't know the age on this thing i would say you know the 2000s at least because i think this little political party hasn't been around much longer than that but um anyway it's uh it's um one fifth of a kilo which puts it right around it's a little over seven ounces of silver but look at it look at this thing i saw that and i just figured well let, let me go ahead and pick this up because i've never seen one of these before even doing research, I saw that, um, I think it was um, either Atmax or um, JM Bullion had a 96 ounce version of this bar right here. And that's like three kilo version of this, which they quickly sold out. And I don't know if they had more than one or not, but if you go to their site, you'll see, if you look this bar up, you'll see that they had one, but they're out of stock currently. And it's probably been that way for a while. But anyway, this is a very, very, very nice, very unique poured silver bar. One fifth kilo. You guys know I'm all over stuff like this. Got the nice little air pocket holes back there in the back. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm back here in the back, man. Kind of dry in here. But it's very nice. Very nice poured silver. One fifth kilo silver bar Russian silver bar so that'll be added to my unique um, silver collection uh, so if anybody has any information about this I'll be dying to hear from you uh, you know I don't know a whole lot there's not a lot of information about this type this bar particular bar on uh, eBay every time I mean on uh, on the internet every time I look this bar up this is the bar that comes up this this bar right here so I've seen this particular bar that I bought on uh, a couple different, um, when I put it in the search engine, I, this comes up in a couple, a couple of different sites on uh, the internet, but it's always the same bar. And I know it's the same bars because it's got this, this same holes and everything right there. And um, so I don't know, maybe it's a one of a kind or maybe they made them all to look the same. It is authentic, it is 
0.999 fine silver, solid all the way through. And just a nice, unique silver bar. So anyway, let's get to that unboxing. All right, so uh, Modern Coin Mart had a um, had a uh, uh, Labor Day sale. Uh, I think it lasted just about <laughs> eight hours. It was real short, uh, but they had some amazing deals on there. Um, and I bought this here. I, I wished I could buy more, but I really wasn't. I didn't have the my finances wasn't. Uh, I didn't budget it in right so uh i couldn't take more of an advantage of this sale but i did manage to get this right here this particular coin here and you can see this is the 2018 republic of chad african lion um and this is a proof silver coin and i got this thing right here this particular coin here it came in this really nice um little display case here very nice display case very beautiful coin anyway and look at that that is beautiful that is a very beautiful coin there i can get this thing to focus right so there we go look at that isn't that beautiful came in this airtight it's a proof coin beautiful image of africa right there african continent very nice and like I said it comes in this really nice little display box here wooden display box and I got all of this Let's look at this CFA here very nice CFA numbered um, and, the, and the maximum mintage on this by the way is a thousand very nice a thousand is the maximum mintage on this particular coin right here so they're only going to make a thousand. This is a proof version. Now this right here, you would assume cost a lot of money. And I'm, when I tell you how much I paid for this, I'm going to have to show you proof because I don't think a lot of people out there are going to think that old Silver Joker is not being 100% honest. But there's this coin right here in this nice box. Thousand mintage. Maximum mintage on this. Came all this and I got this for the amazing amazing price of $39.95 $39.95 is what I paid for this whole get up here on their Labor Day sale so you really got to be paying attention out there I mean you could come across some amazing deals and now if you go to to uh, modern coin Mart right now and try to buy this coin it's gonna cost you close to 70 bucks beautiful like I said I wish that I could have took more advantage of it. I wish I could have bought more but at the time you know I've got to stick to my budget that's how I can afford the silver that I can afford but isn't that beautiful and all of this all of this for 39 bucks <laughs> very nice anyway if you stick around I'll get it all out and we'll talk about it and uh, bring this video to a close all right so there you have it my latest pickups um, really um really excited about collecting this entire uh queen's beast um, um series here looking forward to that i mean these are some very beautiful coins as you guys know um really like this piece here uh, you guys know how i am about odd and uh unique pieces of silver I like this don't know a lot of information about it so if you guys uh come across the information one fifth kilo never seen anything like that poured silver absolutely 100 authentic uh 0.999 fine silver and then the lion of course um, very nice lion coin there and then uh you know some of the pickups from from uh you know my vacation anyway i appreciate you guys tuning in um I got more exciting stuff coming. Just uh, been busy uh, trying to get some uh, vending machines in some different locations and it's been occupying a lot of my time plus my regular job. Um, and then of course trying to uh, um, find time to uh, order and, and uh, track down silver. So anyway, um, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. I uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. And thank you for your patience between my videos. I mean, I know you guys that subscribed to my channel I appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel and 
kind of waiting for me to um, put more stuff out there but I tell you more stuff's coming I got a a uh, found a new coin store and I think he's gonna allow me to go in there with my uh, with my phone and take some pictures and uh, I am definitely gonna share that with you guys brand new um, coin store not brand new as, as a brand new store but brand new to me I found it I, I mean I've been driving by this place for I don't know how long and never even noticed it um, but he's got a lot of really nice stuff in there not just coins silver coins and bullion and stuff like that but he has a just I mean he has everything he has display cases um, coin counting machines it's just it's beautiful I think you guys are really 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 um, enjoy seeing the inside of this guy's store and so uh, hopefully in my next video I'll have a lot of that in there so anyway you guys just uh, let's keep doing what we're doing and keep stacking peace